Well, let's switch gears and talk about the fuel crisis that's been witnessed in the country over the last couple of days. And some good news, it could come to an end after President Uru Kenyatta approved the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Bill, which allocates this amount of money, 34.4 billion Kenya shillings, from the supplementary budget to the government fuel stabilization program used to pay oil marketing companies that have choked the flow of fuel over an outstanding debt of 13 billion Kenya shillings. Now, tonight, further saw Sources at the National Treasury have indicated to Citizen TV that due to the sensitive nature of the fuel crisis, the monies will be released to the oil marketing companies within two days to resolve the standoff. Now, Citizen TV's Faisal Ahmed tells us more. Long queues witnessed around the country at fuel stations could soon come to an end after President Uhuru Kenyatta signed the supplementary budget, effectively allocating 34.4 billion shillings to the fuel stabilization fund, which will be used to pay oil marketing companies that have held the country hostage over the 13 billion shilling debt owed by the government. The funds, according to a source at the National Treasury, could be released to oil marketing companies within the next two days as the government is treating this as an emergency. The fuel stabilization fund was instituted by the government in 2020 and operationalized in 2021 with a aim of cautioning Kenyans from increase in fuel prices, particularly due to global price fluctuations. However, it is the very fund that was meant to act as a buffer for Kenyans that has caused them pain over the last few days as they could not access the precious commodity. Some oil marketing companies told Citizen TV that the stabilization fund was not the ultimate solution in controlling fuel prices. The companies argue that the government should look at reducing the number of taxes levied on fuel. Currently, there are nine taxes levied on petroleum products in the country, with five of them being revised upwards since 2019, including the stabilization fund, which went up from 45 cents per litre to 5 shillings and 45 cents in June 2020. The intervention by the government in the current crisis is said to have averted a greater trouble for the country, as some sources claim that the national fuel reserves have fuel sufficient for only 10 days, as opposed to a minimum requirement of 90 days. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.